Climate Research for Development is an initiative by the African Climate Policy Centre in partnership with partners like the UK FCDO office to build the capacity of African researchers to respond to the developmental priorities and needs of the African continent in response to our changing climate. cr 4 has been able to achieve quite a lot of products or outcomes through the implementation process. So at least 21 fellowships have been successfully completed across the continent. And and these are climate researchers that have done excellent work trying to give us information that then we use to inform our climate change adaptation strategies across the continent. I believe this is very important because as the future continues to be warmer under climate change, uh, we need also to strengthen the seasonal focus information that can be used as an early warning and awareness tool. We've gathered in Nairobi at this time to listen to the cr 4 grantees get to see what they've been doing over the last 18 months. Learn from their success stories, the challenges, so that ultimately we take stock of the implementation process of the cr 4 grantee. I was funded to conduct a research which was aiming to look on the impacts of gender inequality on climate change adaptation and livelihood of marginalized poor community around wildlife protected areas. I found that there is gender disparity around wildlife protected area which tends to limit women to access climate change adaptive assets as the results they keep on depending more on resources from protected area which is likely to cause more impact on the environment. As a senior one of the key findings was that we managed to make the fertilizers from air using plasma assisted nitrogen fixation. And the fertilizers are in a form of nitrates that are readily taken by the plant. It was interesting for us because it changes everything, showing that we can produce fertilizers using just solar energy, water, and air. I'm quite grateful for this funding because it doesn't only enable me to have an impact on the continent and the region as a whole, but it also enables me to also develop my career and it exposed me to other future opportunities in terms of networking, proposal development. And uh, with the funding as well, I, I did have the opportunity to be promoted from a fellow to the program leader of in the department that I was working with. I'm an advocate for Africa developing its own solutions. So the main research that I would like to see myself you know, pushing forward is the development of homegrown models. The models that we are using at the moment for operations, for weather forecasting, for climate change projections were all developed in other continents. So Africa has not really contributed in the development of these models and I would like to see my career moving forward really contributing in this space to make sure that Africa develops its own model. Climate change is emerging as a development challenge in many developing countries, particularly in Sub-Saharan African countries. And this is coupled with uh, the population growth and we, we already have uh, a huge poverty level in Africa in general. So understanding you know, what agricultural practice would help poor small household farmers will help us to design appropriate policy so that we can reduce poverty and nutrition security in the future. It is important to fund uh, climate research in Africa because still we have little understanding on the underpinning driver of climate and climate change. For that, we need to build capacity and uh, we need to uh, fund the climate research in order to increase the adaptive capacity of the uh, community and also build the resilience of economy, uh, ecosystem and society.